Houston, Columbia, from the space lab module on air to ground one using the D unit. How do you copy? And Janice, we hear you loud and clear on air to ground one. Great. Switching to air to ground two. And Huntsville, this is Comcheck, uh, PS1. How do you read? Read, read you five by five. How do you read us? I read you great. All right. How you doing? I'm fine. It's great to see you all. You look great. And I want to remind you of an agreement about a bogan arm before you go to the mid-deck. <laughs> okay. Actually, i got to get a camcorder to take up there with me, too, because... Uh, what I was going to use up there is in a locker that bangs around on the sleep station pretty much, so I'll just get all that when I go. This is Mission Control Houston. This uh, live image coming down from Columbia's mid-deck area showing payload specialist Greg Lenteris who's uh, working on the mid-deck area. Also coming into view periodically wearing the blue shirt is uh, Commander Jim Hossel. He's uh, currently working to uh, finish up the, the assembly of the bicycle ergometer that'll be used uh, for the astronauts to exercise on. This video is coming down fr from Columbia using the HiPAC video system. That's a system that allows multiple video images to be digitally compressed and then sent down to the ground where they can then be decoded and each signal individually sent to the investigation team uh, for that particular experiment. This allows multiple teams insight into their particular payload at the same time. The uh, time being displayed on the screen is uh, Greenwich Mean Time, or GMT. This is Mission Control Houston. We continue to take live video through the high-pack television system of the mid-deck area of Columbia. In view, astronauts Don Thomas and Greg Lenteris, who are working uh, some photo documentation activities uh, with one of the protein crystal growth experiments. Columbia's currently approaching the west coast of South America. Huntsville Space Lab for Express. Go ahead. Hey, Dorina, FO2, the checkout uh, of Experiment Power is complete and uh, everything looks good on Express. As you know, this is one of our premier facilities that will be flying on Space Station shortly in a few years here. and. We'll have uh, up to eight of these up on board at any given time, and this is the first check out of, of them, and everything is looking great on it so far. We're really excited about flying, actually, pieces of the space station on our shuttle flight. Copy that. It's great that it's up and running. And with 
Would there be any interest in uh, starting the phase activation early, or would you like me to wait until the uh, 1625? We'd like you to wait until the timeline time of 1625. Okay, we'll be standing by till then. Again, going back to the orbiter crew activities, the orbiter crew is currently setting up video observation of the Astro Plant generic bioprocessing apparatus. Uh, Astro PGBA looks at the, the effect of microgravity and space on certain series of plants. But what makes this experiment more interesting and, and, and doubly important to this space lab mission and future International Space Station missions is that Astro PGBA will be moved from its location in the mid-deck area to the express rack aboard the space lab module. That move will occur later in the flight. Uh, the express rack is a rack specifically designed to operate as a fully set up and functional rack where experiments can be inserted and removed and Specialist Don Thomas is working on the large isothermal furnace, and specifically... We are live with you on TVC number one, and I uh, just wanted to ask you a question. We do see an image on the viewfinder above TVC number two, which we thought was inoperational. Uh, can you confirm that you are seeing an image, or if uh, the quality of the image? Yeah, you guys have good eyes uh, to pick that up. Uh, we do have a good image up there, a good quality image on TVC uh, number two, the monitor is there. And when I came back from lunch, you know, just an hour, an hour and a half ago, that image was not there, so somehow we got it. Okay, well, wonderful. We'll accept magic anytime. So uh, we will get rid of your next activity to uh, troubleshoot that. Since you guys were able to pick that up, now I know we can't hide anything from you. We are watching you. Okay, and I've got a few more instructions for you. Okay, Paul, go ahead. Okay, um, on step alpha, you shouldn't have to do that because we're in a power down state. But we do want to check uh, on Romeo 6 Tango. We want to check that circuit breakers 1, 2, 3, and 4 are all off. Copy that step alpha is being deleted, but Romeo 6 Tango, you want to make sure the circuit breakers are off, and I'm looking at them, and they are. And then also the switches are off as well, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Confirmed, all four switches are off. And then on Romeo 7 Whiskey, that uh, circuit breaker for DC utility power is off. on and the 
the DC Tony Power, I'll take it off at this time. Okay. And uh, also on Romeo 7 Whiskey, check that circuit breakers 1, 2, 3, and 4 are off. 4 may be on, and if it is on, uh, you can take it to the off position. All four of those circuit breakers are on. Do you want me to take them all off, and do you care about the order? Stand by. Huntsville Space Lab, uh, Columbia with the daily status cue card. Go ahead for the daily status cue card. Yeah, good morning, Ann. Uh, I've got some data for you when you're ready to copy. Uh, the first one is the uh, PG PCG S test on MF71 Echo, and uh, the temperature was 22 centigrade. A copy. Go ahead, Paul. Okay, you have a go to power off those circuit breakers on uh, R7 Whiskey, uh, no particular order. Okay, and work. And uh, give me a holler back when you've completed step Bravo. Okay. Although I think you guys must have been watching me on TV and waited until I finished studying the book and was ready to go to the locker to get the tools to call me back here.